Hello, I'm Keith Peterson. Welcome to my hangar, and it's project time. Between the virus and the winter, I'm just tackling a few things in the hangar today. And uh, one of them is this project my wife encouraged me to take on. This is a wishing well uh, that she brought home 25 years ago or something. She bought it from a guy, a retired guy along a road. He had him sitting out in the front lawn. You know how that works, right? Very nicely built, um, and it goes over the wellhead that uh, we have out in front of the house. You know, we have a well, the head protrudes a little way, so there's a yard art to fit over the wellhead. She really likes this, and it's, it's deteriorated from, uh, from time and age and the elements. So she'd like to have me rebuild this thing uh, in cedar or redwood. I'm gonna use cedar. Um, so it's, it's pretty simple construction, one by sixes, one by fours, some two by fours. The base is made of two by fours, one foot long, six in a circle, 11 layers deep, all right? So the interesting puzzle that I decided to tackle for YouTube today uh, is how do you make a circle of six one foot long pieces of cedar round? And then how do you make the next one round? And then how do you make them stacked up so that's nice and straight? So I think I have a trick for how to do that, you know, applying some geometry and engineering skills. And so I thought I'd show that, uh, that little trick and uh, we'll see how it works out. I have a little workspace set up here. It's an old piece of scrap uh, um, insulation with some tar paper on it that I use. It's a nice work surface. So here's the challenge. If you want to set up a hexagon like this, you think about how that'll work. Well, it's, it's, it's hard to get it lined up, right? And then when you think about the next layer and how that's all going to work, I mean, let's see. And, and then you have to hold it all still while you drill the screws in and all this. It's like, all right, so I think what we need is some sort of a plug that goes in here, a, a, a reference, a, a um, something that everything lines up to here. So here's my idea. I think I'll build a cardboard insert that gives me the pattern. Now the nice thing about a hexagon is that you can draw one with a compass. So I got a piece of cardboard here and here's my idea. I'm going to put a hole in the center here as a, as a pivot point and then I'm just going to make a little compass thing here. Now I measured the wishing well. It's 24 inches from outside corner to outside corner, and that's the circle I want to draw. So uh, 24 inches radius, of course, is, is uh, 12 inches. So this is my, my quick little compass concept. Um, just a 12 inch long thing here with a piece of cardboard. So I'll draw this circle. And that's going to be the outside of our little template pattern. And then I just pick a spot here, right? Right here. And I draw it like that. And this is where hexagons are nice. So draw it like that, like that, and there. And there. Yep. See, it's nice when it comes out right. All right, so now we've got the six points, and what that means is if we put those two points right here, this is where the six will always go, right? The six one foot long two by fours will always go like that. That's exactly the right spot. So, let's cut that out. Take a straight edge, some sort of little cutting device, really sharp one. This works pretty well. And just like that, and I'll cut it out. So I'll spare you the cutting and uh, let's start from the next step. So here's our pattern all cut out. And as we can see, we can put our boards up against here very nicely. And we'll be able to follow this routinely all the way through and make them all a very nice hexagon, right? So now, once I've got this in place, I have to put the next layer down. And that's the next question. How do I, see I have to get this up out of here. So first trap is I can put a handle on it. Right, so there's a handle. All right, so now we get this all set in the right spot, all lined up. And now I need to rotate this just the right amount. Now, there's a lot of degrees of freedom here, right? You could draw centers on these, center, center, center. Um, and that's what I've done here. That's what these lines are about. I can make these lines here that I can line those up and say, okay, it's lined up, it's centered. Looks like it wants to be that way a little bit. It wants to be that way. That's a little bit tricky. So I have in mind another idea. What if I build a second pattern that drops in behind this pattern and allows me to index to the last row before I make the next row? 
So, let's make another one that's the same as this one but has these edges cut off. And here is that second circle. Now what I've done here is I've created an index. So I can put this one in like that and I'm going to put in a second nail. I happen to have one handy here. Just like this. If then you like it all, I won't drop it too many more times. And then I think we can line this up. Okay, so now, in theory, we get this one lined up straight. Get that one lined up. And then that one drops in and stays. Okay, keep this lined up. And now our second row of boards goes around here. See how that goes? And that lines up. Now we drive our screws, and then for the next step, we lift this one up, rotate it 90, index it in. You see, I'm going to have to tie these off because that's going to start falling. And away we go. So that's my theory. Let's see how it works. Okay, so there's been some process improvement while you were gone. I've got this bottom piece of cardboard in here. Um, to help hold it fast, I've got some painter's tape just holding along the edges here. I've trimmed a little here to make sure there's going to be a nice tight uh, fit on there. Uh, one of the tricks for making painter's tape stick to cardboard really well, take your knife and you can just kind of rub it in like that and it'll, uh, it'll hook up a little bit better. So now we've done one layer of, uh, of we've got the first layer and the second layer on top of it. That worked out pretty well. And now what we can do is we can lift this up and just rotate it a little bit. And you see it sets right in and it fits its, it, it finds its spot. That's the spot. And now we can set the next set of boards in. Drill those in and keep building up until we run out of boards or get 11 layers. Hopefully it should work out about equal. That's what we ended up with. It went really well, went pretty quick. If I put a straight edge in here, they all line up really remarkably well. Um, I can't, I can hardly see a variation between them. You know, maybe an eighth of an inch at the most. So that works out real well. A couple things I learned along the way. One thing is, of course, when I pull this out, you notice me kind of looking for the place that it set in real well. Um, there always was one. See right there, that sits in pretty well. And try if it's better. And uh, the cardboard pattern held up through the whole process real well. Yeah, see that's where it sets the best right there. Um, the other thing is um, I'm pre-drilling because the cedar, I didn't want to have any chances of splitting the cedar. I was picking the outside corner to go in. I also, if there's any crown to it, I didn't want them to rock. And a few places, especially at the top here, I put in double screws uh, just for strength for torsional rigidity. And um, the next step is to put a deck on here, or just a tabletop, uh, and then uh, I've got my verticals here. My two tall verticals, you can see this one's got an angle already cut on it. And I've got my sides here, I don't know if you can see that very well. So that'll bolt up on here, like this. And then I've got my little diagonals, I just, I just um, kind of fig figured out what the angles were there, that was a smidgen tricky. But they go in right there like that. So that's going to work real well. Do the same on the other side. Build two of these. Bolt them into the sides. And then I'll put my roof on. And I'm very close to done here. So the pattern worked out really well. Um, I really couldn't have asked for any better on that. And uh, considering where I started with a bunch of six pieces of wood just scrambling to find their own way around the table, this was a vast improvement. So I hope that helps somebody. 
a little bit of cardboard, a little bit of math, and the um, job gets easy. So I've got the tabletop on now. These are one by sixes. And uh, the reason I'm back is because I'm going to use this little um, cardboard thing that I built one more time. I've got my center position identified inside this, and I want to draw a circle around here for this tabletop. That's the way the old one was done, and I want to do the same. So I'm just going to do the same kind of a thing. It doesn't matter how big it is. I could use string, but a piece of cardboard works pretty well. And then I put a hole right where the edge of the short ones comes. Oh. That one doesn't have quite enough. So the question is, do I accept more of a gap in the inside here? Hmm. I think I do. I think I want to get this thing as big as I can. So I'm just going to move this out a little bit. How far? Well, I guess I can use my little thing here to tell me, huh? So I'm going to go out that far. Now what I might do is, I think what I will do is I'll fill in these corners with the part that I cut off. Okay. So now I can finish this circle. Oh. Okay, that's my theory. Now, I can either cut these with a um, jigsaw right on top of here, or I can pull them off and put them on my little bandsaw. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll pick one and do that. Well, we've reached a milestone, although not exactly done. We got the roof on, everything's nice and solid. Looks a lot like the old one, doesn't it? I do need to drill a hole through here for the cross shaft, and then I have a project of building a bucket. That'll be fun. But other than that, we're pretty much ready to go. We'll set it out over the wellhead when the time's right, and it'll be uh, beautifying our front yard for many, many years. I think that cedar should last. So thanks for riding along. Hope it's interesting and helpful for somebody. We'll catch you on the next project.